So I had to do it. I had to do it once and for all. I have to expose all this epidemic that's going on in social media of, oh, look at my Lamborghini, look at my Ferrari, look at my Rolex, look at my chain, look at my Givenchy clothes, this shirt costs a thousand dollars, look at my private jet, look at my big house. This epidemic that is happening on social media that started with one guy about two or three years ago has spread all across social media. And it's an epidemic and I gotta talk about four reasons why this is some bad stuff, guys. That's going on and I think it's I think it's a really bad thing for a lot of different reasons that I'm gonna explain here and literally started as one guy a couple years ago in his garage and now it's all across social media you go on Instagram and you see all these people flexing trying to put all this money up look at my new watch and look at my new car and this all this like flexing type stuff right you see it on here on YouTube with several different people with advertisers trying to throw it in your face oh you know follow me here's me getting in my helicopter here's me doing this here's me doing that trying to show this lifestyle to give themselves some kind of credibility and therefore they can sell a program or something backed by that and it's an epidemic and it's driving me nuts. So number one, the first thing that I actually don't care about that a lot of people care about is whether a lot of these people are renting their, their stuff. I don't actually don't care about that. I don't care if somebody's renting their Lamborghini for the day or renting that house and trying to show a lifestyle that they don't really live. That I actually don't care about. Some people, that's the thing they get tied up in. They're like, oh, you know what, that person's renting that car, that house. I don't give a shit because whether they had that Lamborghini or don't have that Lamborghini or they had that fancy Rolex or they don't have that fancy Rolex, that means nothing to me. What means something to me is whether their information they're giving out and if they want to charge for that, that's fine. But if they're, if they're charging for something that's good information, that's fine. But if, they're, if they've rented all this stuff and they're giving out bad information or if they actually own it and they're giving out bad information, it's all a net net loss in the end for me. I'm just like, why, why do they need to portray this type of lifestyle? Why do they need to act like, oh, it's so grand and this and that, guys? This is what drives me nuts here on social media. It's just this whole, I need to look super rich, so therefore I have some type of credibility, so then I can sell a course or sell a package or whatever. And it's an absolute epidemic. And something I hate is when some of these guys will then get called out on the, the fact that they rent stuff. This is the part that kind of bothers me about the whole renting. When they finally get caught uh, that they're renting that house or they're renting these cars and all these kinds of things and they're leasing it or whatever. They get caught and then they try to say, oh, well, I, don't, I didn't buy this house because um, I don't, I don't want to spend all that money on a house. Fuck you, you fucking rent a Lamborghini and a Bentley and you you got that Rolex on, you got that chain and all these expensive clothes and you don't wanna buy a house? Oh, come on, that just makes me sick. Like, think with your head, like, like people, anybody that has any clue about financial matters will look at that and like, what, so you're gonna rent all that stuff, you're gonna own all that stuff, but you're not gonna buy a house? Like, come on, man, and that house that you live in in LA is just appreciated another half a million last year that you rent out? Like, come on, dude. Like, like real people that are smart financial-wise, like, they can read through that shit in a heartbeat. And some people that aren't that smart and aren't that intelligent, which some of those channels kind of attract, they'll look at that and they'll say, Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a break, dude. You got four different fancy cars that all cost over a quarter million that somehow you own. But no, you can't buy a house. You can't put a down payment on a house that just appreciated another half a million last year. Give me a break. That is such a bunch of BS. It's like, uh, just be truthful, man. Be honest. So number two. Uh, they're, they're flexing to make themselves feel better. Some of them like to claim, oh, I, I show off my, this lifestyle. I show off all this cash in my pictures and my videos. I show off these fancy cars because um, that is what people want. No, no, you're doing that because you feel better about yourself. It's a douche move to show off all that stuff, especially if you're forcing it on people and you're doing it in your advertisements that get forced into people's uh, faces. Oh, I'm at this such and such thing with all these fancy cars and all these fancy people somehow, and you're forcing on people. It's no different than being at the gym and you, you picture yourself, you're working out, and some guy comes by and he starts flexing, flexing in your face. And you're like, dude, get the fuck out of my face. Like, what are you doing? Like, oh, yeah, I'm a big, huge guy. Like, that is equivalent of the douchebag move these guys are using by throwing these Lamborghinis and these Bentleys and these houses and these clothing and all this expensive stuff in your face. That's literally the, the exact 
uh, same thing as somebody in the gym who comes up and they just start flexing in your face. It's literally the same thing, especially if you're paying, if you're paying advertisements to force it on people in their face. Not like somebody clicked on that video purposely, like somebody's getting forced that in their face. It's just, oh, it, it makes me roll my eyes. Number three, they act like, some of these people act like that's the only way to get attention. That's the only way. The only way you can get attention on social media is if you do all this stuff and you have all these, you know, this fancy lifestyle shown. That's the only way I'm going to be able to get attention. Absolutely not. If you have good material you preach on your channel or, or your Instagram or Facebook or whatever platform you're on, you will get attention. You will get attention. You don't need to show some kind of lavish lifestyle to get attention. Can you get attention that way? Absolutely, you can get attention that way. The same thing, it's basically the same mindset that hip hop has used for years. Anybody has followed hip hop for a long time. Hip hop's, it's been like 15, 20 years ago, they started using the champagne lifestyle and the private jets and the yachts and the cars and all their music videos and the chicks dancing around in thongs. And it's exact the same mentality that a lot of these business gurus are all of a sudden using that aren't really business gurus, but that's another subject that are, are using now. They're using, oh, look at their how a lot of their videos, chicks in bikini. Bikinis. Oh, look at a lot of their videos. They got all these fancy cars and it's they're trying to show like a hip-hop lifestyle And they're thinking that's the only way to get attention and it's a hundred percent false If you give out good material on your channel or whatever it is you can get attention I was a nobody. I'm still a nobody, but I was an extreme nobody uh, when I started my channel in 2016 this YouTube channel here now we have 43,000 subscribers and I've never once done a video, oh, look at me in my Lamborghini, oh, look at me in my new fancy watch, and look at my new chain, and look at my fancy clothes. Hell no, I buy H&M clothes, and I go and buy them on sale for like 10 bucks, so that's what I do. I don't ever do that, and look at the audience we've attracted. Look at Gary Vaynerchuk's channel. Guy's approaching 700,000 subscribers. He's getting, like, usually most of his videos are getting 20 to 50,000 views within the first 48 hours. Very good um, view to subscriber ratio there and I've never once ever watched a video and I've watched 20 30 40 videos of his I've never watched any videos where he's like look at this new thing I just bought look at my new fancy car look at this look at that I've never seen anything he's just giving out business advice and like you know people can follow him and if they like him they like him but he's built a extremely loyal following by not having to show off all that stuff. So that is a bunch of BS that, oh, I can only get attention if I show off if I show off all this stuff. Absolutely not. You give out good shit and you will get people to follow you. I, uh, I'm living proof of that exact same thing, guys. I'm living proof. I give out what I feel is good shit. Other people feel like that. And that's why we built 43,000 subscribers and I was a nobody in 2016. And I'm still a nobody, but that's fine. I'll be, I'm happy with my audience I have. And the last one, number four here, guys. Um, this is probably the biggest problem I have with it. They are basically teaching the people out there that things are the end goal. The Lamborghini, that's the end goal. The big house, that's the end goal. The, the fancy necklace, that's the end goal. The fancy clothing, that's the end goal. And I don't think that's the end goal, and I don't think that's the end goal people should want or, or need. The end goal for people, and the reason people should care about personal finance, care about entrepreneurship, care about investing and trying to make their money into money, is not so they can go buy more things. That's slave mentality. The reason they should do it is for freedom. For freedom, for freedom, so you can do what you want. You can wake up at the time you want to wake up. You don't have to listen to your boss. You don't have to listen to this person and that person. You can do what you want to do each and every day. And not just so I can, I can you know, become rich just so I can buy all this stuff. That's literally slave mentality. Let me just buy all this stuff. Let me try to get a mortgage. Let me try to get this. Let me try to you know, take out debt so I can get all even more things so I can make myself feel good and it could be keeping up with the Joneses. And then guess what? I just gotta keep working and keep doing things so I can keep up this type of lifestyle. That's in my opinion, not the way to live. And I think a lot of my subscribers understand that the, the end goal to make more money and get more money is for freedom, not for buying more stuff. Like I've worked, I've worked for years at a company named Quick Trip, had to get up at 4 a.m. every day, 4 a.m., day in and day out. 
That was horrible. Like, I never want to go back to that. That was awful. Like, that was not fun at all. I've had to clean up shit off floors. I've had to clean uh, shit off toilets. Like, I've had to do all these nasty stuff. I've had to work out in 120 degree heat for 10, 12 hours working for my dad's company. Like, I've had to do hard ass work and I don't want to go back there. So I make money. I do my thing for freedom. So I don't have to go back there and do those kinds of things. Not so I can go buy a fancy this or fancy that to make myself feel better. It's about the freedom in the end. And if my freedom is, I want to go buy something fancy, then I can do that. But the, the things are not the end goal. The freedom is the end goal in, in deciding when I want to wake up. It's great feeling now that I'm an actual business owner. I own two businesses that I can wake up when I want to wake up. I don't have to wake up when somebody tells me to. If I want to stay up all night, I can do that. It's my own life. If I want to go on vacation next week somewhere, I can do that. It's not like dependent upon someone else, guys. So freedom, freedom is literally the end goal, not the Bentley, not the fancy house. That's not the end goal. If that's part of your freedom, fine, but that's not the end goal. It's freedom in the end, freedom from doing what you want to do and being able to live a halfway decent lifestyle. So that is why I want to call out, you know, all these, it's, it's just an epidemic here on YouTube. It's an epidemic all over the place that people feel like they need to show off a lifestyle. So therefore they can get attention and, um, I, that's just my feeling on it, guys, and I, I don't care if I get a ton of thumbs down on this video because it might be controversial and some people might like those those guys out there that, um, you know, show off these fancy lifestyles and that. I don't really care. If I get 100,000 thumbs down, oh well, <laughs> you know, in the end, um, I know my subscribers, you guys will hit that thumbs up button, so that's what matters in the end. My actual subscribers, not the people who just click on this video just to click on it and come stick up for their guy and whatnot, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this today. Um, my channel is all about preaching practical, uh, practicality. Is that the right word? Practicality. You know, I talk about my two five-figure businesses. Is it is it multi-million dollar lifestyle? Absolutely not. When you have two five-figure businesses, you can live all right, but you're not living a ball in lifestyle. Zero to two hundred thousand. Um, is that some kind of you know epic story of, of maybe if it was zero to two hundred million or something like that, then it would be an epic story. But I'm about pe preaching practicality on this channel. It's about I'm trying to build an actual goal. Uh, it's about trying to build a five-figure business, which is realistic for most people. To build a seven-figure, eight-figure business, not very realistic unless you do it over a long period of time, guys. So I'm about pe preaching practicality. And you know what? This whole, you know, I got all these fancy cars and houses, it's not practical on the end, guys, unless you work your ass off for a long time or you get really lucky with a really good idea, guys. So uh, practicality, that's what it's all about. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you just came across this channel, you may want to subscribe. We talk personal finance on this channel. We talk entrepreneurship. I'm an actual business owner. I give away so many business tips. We talk the stock market more than anything, making your money into money. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.